You see that dude that killed a man by beating him with a bag of Pokemon card tins. You're making that up. No way. Oh my god, what? What is happening? What? Man beats neighbor to death with bag full of Pokemon cards. That had to be like 50,000 cards for it to even be heavy enough for something like that. Unless you like sat there for 20 hours just pulverizing him with like a single booster box. After demanding his neighbor come out here and fight like a man... Hogue hit him numerous times with a bag filled with five tins of Pokemon cards, leaving the victim lifeless. Holy shit. He mauled him like Rocket Raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy. He would later admit to officers that he got carried away during the attack and murdered him in cold blood. He also claimed that he tried to end his life in an act of mercy because he had already seriously injured Wilkinson by hitting him with a bag of Pokemon cards. This is an unhinged story. This actually sounds made up. Judge Sarah Wright sen sentenced him to life in prison for a minimum of 17 years and recommended he be readmitted to Rampton Secure Hospital. The judge also warned about self-medicating with marijuana and alcohol. I mean, with a psychotic disorder, yeah, he probably needed something a little more powerful than a bottle of Jack Daniels and some fucking Scottish cheese. Or, not Scottish cheese, what was it called? Danky Wanky Cheese? The one from Weed Shop 3, what was that string called? Stupid Cheese? You know what I'm talking about? What was that one called? That was like top of the line stuff. Oh my god, chat doesn't remember. No, it wasn't Wacky Tabacky. That's just like a normal name for it. What was that one called in Weed Shop? Like when you type in Weed Shop 3 <laughs> cheese, the first thing that comes up is me playing Weed Shop. It was just called UK Cheese? No way, it definitely had a wackier name than that. Oh my god, wait, no, you're right. I must have crossed a bunch of strains in my head there. Maybe the resub J-Pink. This case is a stark reminder of the dangers of cannabis use, particularly with someone with such complex mental health history as yours. Well, who, who was the judge on this? Scrub McGruff? Like, what? what? This has nothing to do with cannabis use. This guy actually has a psychotic disorder and murdered his neighbor in cold blood with Pokemon cards. That has nothing to do with weed. In fact, on the day of the murder, I guarantee he didn't smoke. Oh, I forgot about this. Last year, a man was killed by police after allegedly stealing Pokemon cards and pizza from a target. Yeah, Pokemon... The bodies are piling up with Pokemon right now. But yeah... The, this is probably correct. It's probably the first time the Pokemon cards have been used as a murder weapon. I don't think Gambit's gotten his hands on Pokemon cards to take out any criminals or anything. So this is probably the first time the cards themselves have been a weapon. Weird ass case. Yeah. Well, at least he's facing life in prison, so... I mean, he fucking murdered a man over nothing. Over literally nothing. It is wild how often this is happening. This apparently happened in August. And was just sentenced. Thanks, you resub Wololo in the gift sub. Karma.
Did you enjoy the latest Linkin Park album? Oh, I loved it. So many unreleased tracks, and so many tracks that I used to download from LimeWire in terrible quality that they now released in high quality. Oh, it's so nice, yeah. And yeah, I heard about the hotel manager that was sucking guest toes. When chat brought it up the other night, I thought that was just exceptional service. But it turns out he was just sucking their toes while they were asleep. Nashville hotel, hotel manager charged after allegedly sucking on sleeping guest toes. A sort of nightmare. I've all, I actually asked this question the other day to Matt and Danny and Chase. Do you think if you whisper into someone's ear as they're sleeping for long enough and often enough, you could actually influence the dreams they have? I wonder if the people that were getting their toes sucked while sleeping, if they had like related dreams about it. Dexter's Laboratory? Was that something that happened in Dexter's Lab? It just makes you pee? What? How? Like, if I whispered... Let's say I wrote down, like, an entire movie plot, and I just whisper all of it to someone as they're sleeping and just keep repeating it. Would that have any effect on their dreams? Would they start reenacting my movie plot in their dream? I wonder. One day I'll try and myth bust that. The manager of a downtown Nashville, Tennessee, Hilton, has been charged with aggravated burglary and assault after allegedly sucking on a male guest's toes while he was sleeping. Oh, was it just one person or was he like a serial sucker? David Patrick Neal was arrested Friday after hotel guest Peter awoke at 5 a.m. to find the night manager indulging his apparent foot fetish. He's since filed a lawsuit against the hotel alleging sexual assault. Neil cloned the key to Brennan's room and entered during the early morning hours without knocking or announcing himself. What did he think was going to happen? You would absolutely wake up to someone, like, suckling your tootsies. Especially if you're ticklish. That'd be panic-inducing. I mean, it's panic-inducing regardless to have this creepy fucking weirdo at the end of your bed just sucking your toes. That's horrifying. Brennan reportedly screamed when he found Neil sucking on his toes and immediately recognized him as one of the two hotel staff members who had been in his room the previous day to help him with his TV. Oh, this was premeditated suckling. He was plotting. And he didn't even wear a mask or anything? He just- he didn't even hide his face? I would have expected him to come in with like a ski mask or something. He looks like someone who sucks toes. Yeah, it looks like his, like, life juice. That's what's been fueling him for the last, like, ten years. Just a little bit of toe grease. Brennan filed a complaint with police following the incident, and Neil reportedly told officers that he entered Brennan's room because he smelled smoke and wanted to check on him for his safety. Neil did not report a smoke smell to hotel security, and no one else smelled any smoke. Well, it doesn't really explain away the toe incident. Like, I smelled smoke, so I had to investigate thoroughly. So I put each and every one of his, uh, of his little piggies in my mouth. And wouldn't you know it? No smoke. Where's my medal? I, I'm a hero. <laughs> Them toes were on fire. <laughs> Thanks to the resub, Yulo, Minshi, Extreme, and the Prime, Eddie in Tier 1, Pate and resub, Flappy, and Mills. Thanks to the bits, Mills in Tokyo. He was trying to suck the smoke out of his toes, what a hero. Yeah, like a snake in its venom or something. We just don't understand his ways. He might have very well prevented a fire. And we wouldn't know it. We're too busy judging him. Tragic, the state of the world. All my life you just have that sense of security and that sense of peace, right? 
It's not like you're camping and you have to keep a one eye open, Brennan told the local outlet. You have that security that's yours, and when you close your eyes, you feel like you're safe and you're protected, and it was a complete violation. I mean, you're not wrong. The last thing you would expect at a hotel is someone to sneak in in the middle of the night and <laughs> go, to, go to work on your feet. I was just so, so shocked, Brennan said. It was, who are you? Why are you in my room? It was almost like a dream, a sort of nightmare. It just didn't make sense. Why is this person touching me? Upon further investigation, Brennan and his attorney, Michael, with Rocky Law Firm, found that Neil had a lengthy rap sheet that included a voluntary manslaughter conviction for shooting his roommate during a fight in 1996. That took a crazy turn. It almost sounds like Brennan got off easy with just a little bit of a happy ending on his on his toes. Wow. How is this voluntary... This feels like just murder, right? Well, I guess voluntary manslaughter might be the charge for like a heat of passion kill. But killing his roommate during an argument or a fight? Jesus. Multiple charges of forgery, drinking and driving, a manslaughter conviction as well, which served prison time. When Hilton hired this person, they had to have known. They had to have done background checks to know. And the fact that they would put somebody like that in a position where they have the ability to clone keys and have the ability to get into a guest's room. That's a great point. How the fuck did he land such a position at Hilton with a history of forgery, drinking and driving, and a fucking manslaughter charge for killing his roommate in an argument? Or, fight. This guy must have actually been sucking the toes of the person conducting the uh, job interview. There's no other explanation. There's no way. Like, that's not an easy position to land, right? I, I imagine at a Hilton. That's still a pretty reputable place. More forgery. Oh yeah, he could have. Yeah, he could have uh, spoofed his whole resume. Good point. Thanks to the resub nun lieutenant beef and tier one Shanus and the resub immoral. I don't know, Arrow. I'm not sure. Thanks to the bits of Zora. I don't know what that is, but I can check it out. And the bits mills and resub mercy. Brendan reportedly suffered post-traumatic stress and struggled to get and struggled to get to sleep in the wake of the alleged toe-sucking incident. The safety and security of our guests and team members is our highest priority. We're working closely with the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department and as part of company policy, we do not comment on ongoing investigations. I am excited for the time they do and apologize for uh, the toe-sucking incident. Jesus Christ. That, that is something special. Wow. Wowie. Yeah, I mean, if that happened to me, you bet your sweet bippy I would not be staying at any hotels ever again. I'd just sleep in the car. But then even there, I'm not safe. Just have someone break into the car and just immediately start going to town on my feet. That'll put the fear of God in you real quick. Thanks to tier one skill and the resub pupper, papa, dark, and the bits arrow and mills. If this happened to you, would you prefer if it was a stranger or someone you knew? Oh, that's tough. I don't know. There's pros and cons to both. If it was a stranger, at least I'd never see them again and press charges, go through the go through the whole song and dance. But if it's someone I know, then there's like that wrestling with guilt. Like, man, I've been friends with this guy for how long? And he did this? 
Do I press charges? No, I definitely press charges. This is fucking weird, but you know, you have that back and forth. So I'd say maybe a stranger. But then there's always going to be that lingering thought in the back of your head like, what if he did more to me? Like I was sleeping on my stomach that night and I woke up and my ass was a little itchy. Like I was a little sore. Could he have? No. But maybe. Like there's still so much wiggle room for what ifs with a stranger. So I don't know, man. That's tough. Plus my feet are super ticklish as well. 